DefiRender is a popular brand link software in this time and today I will show you how to use the DefiRender for the basically. Let's get started. DefiRender is a real-time rendering software for 3D visualization. This program is more efficiently and easy to use. You can make the photo in the few minutes with the DeFi engine. And importantly, it's free. You can download the converter for any program you have. Okay, um, in this tutorial, I'm just use Sketch up to modeling this model. And if you finish, you just move to the DeFi converter plugin here and just click connect to the DeFi render and we just move into the program. And now we just come into DeFi render and the next step I just explain you all what is the this this and this is let's get started okay the first tab we just start with the lift of the scene this part is called the scene list it means if you want to create a new frame or new scenes you just click uh, this bottom to to add the frame next the layer the layer is the manage of the model for easy to edit or make the model to the main model layer and the tree is split out to the tree layer and if you want to create the layer you just click plus here and rename them and just click uh, the clip in front of the layer to check you choose this layer the object is to show you modeling in the DeFi from the assets or the outside model like this tree is this object or this tree is this object next move to this tab it's a short key of the assets. First, it's a uh, add light. If you want to use this, uh, this two, and add them into the, the model like this. Next, the the part two. The part two is the the light of something. If you want to to create it. Like if you want to add the character like this, you just click start point to the end point, enter, and you just setting in the 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 right side like this. If you want to have a many character in this part too. Okay, next, we just move to the tools. We you all just seen the the, the three different uh, tool with brush, scatter, and part. We just start with brush. The brush is a uh, depending to if you add the object in the assets. like you add some uh, the brush and the tree and uh, this tree and you just setting in this the, the left bottom what do you have and you just painting in in your model 
like this. Next, the scatter. The scatter is a tool of the randoms, the object in the assets. Like you want to create the random object in the surface, you just click the surface and add them and setting adjust them for your density, size, or randomize if you want to need to create them like uh, I'm just uh, use this brush or this paint or the, the glass like this okay you just adjust what you need the density the site I'm okay in this setting and I'm just click in the surface or the material oh uh, here we go and the last is the the particle this tool is a short key of add the effect light the, the pool the smoke or the flare into your model okay we just move to the right size of the frame is the last tab of this okay we just start with the camera the camera is uh, the setting of the angle adjust view motion blur or the, the perspective okay next the display it show you the option of the light sort the access the part or the grid more is like the filter to shake uh, the lighting in your model like the the clay model or the the wireframe to check the light if your computer is not much fast and not high performance to rendering you just uh, click the smooth or place the, the F2 key to change the, the smooth mode to make your computer more fastest like this next the environment the environment is uh, the key part of geometry you just adjust the sky the sun shot in this mode then not of this you just active the cloud the fog the wind the precipitation or you just use the heady eye skies to make the lighting of the filling in your work and you just uh, import the the HDRI outside or in your computer like this okay and the last so is a uh, effect control in this tab it just show you what you want to make the photo of your mood you want to be like you just adjust the exposure to the dark uh, add the contrast to your photo at the highlight shadow or white balance to the warm tones or something else you just adjust in this tab or you have make more the option if you want to use the last file 
to uh, to make the different mood like this i just tick apply uh, select uh, mode uh, um, uh, like this and increase or decrease the intensity or remove or you just uh, customize light the uh, lat file outside the the different okay we just move to the the material the material is a important thing in the 3d visualization is because uh if you uh adjust or setting your material is more look realistic is help your visualization look more better and in this case in the file render we just click the object or the surface to change the material so in the left of the top we just change the material with the base color or base color map um i'm just change this material to the dirt or the glass you just change with your bitmap this here uh, let me show you some few example i'm just choose my texture in the computer uh, like this you see uh, my texture is changed or you just change your material template like uh like the glass or the the option in the d5 we just looking for the access the material access in the d5 we just click the asset and come to the material we just searching for the material like this and you just click and click the object it will change and we adjust in the right tab all right guys um, i'm just take some time to make this model look completely and i will go back if this model is already finished two hours later if you finish you just click this bottom uh, the image and you just select your scene you want to uh, rendering and just pick the uh, scene 2 and I'm and just adjust this scene already if you finish just choose your aspect ratio if you want 2k or 4k in this case I'm just use uh, my window and I just change the resolution if you finish you just click the lender button select your folder uh, change your name and save it and this is my resolve okay guys for the next video i will teach you how to create the animation in the d5 render and if you like this tutorial please like and subscribe for the next content in the future thanks for the watching goodbye